for today. Think fast. It's only a think fast because I'm not doing a long drawn out video about it. But uh, it's basically like a, a quick morning video. Speaking on crystals. Got my bloodstone right here. This bloodstone. Like a, uh, almost like you could say like a green quartz and red jasper or green chalcedony or chalcedony and uh, red jasper. And then you got the, uh, the, the melanite, aka black garnet. Matter of fact, it's shaping, uh, most of them are shaped. They're forming a dodecahedron shape. But uh, what I wanted to share with y'all, and not, I've uh, shared this before, but it's been a while since I did videos on Christmas. Matter of fact, y'all trying to get back to, you know, I will, not even try, don't use that word. I will start doing uh, more crystal videos, but this morning I woke up and I thought about like, you know, all right, I need some good grounding energy. You know, lately I've been trying to ground myself. Matter of fact, if you notice in my videos, whenever I have those videos, when I'm, you know, pulling, like, channeling information, but it just seems like I'm stuttering or I'm talking too fast, you know, like I'm talking faster than the information is coming. That's coming from a lack of grounding, you know. That's coming from too much electrical circuits just goosey goosey moving all over the place, you know, and not grounded so that energy could be used and processed properly, you know. So that's what grounding crystals do uh, in general. With the uh, melanite, for me, it's a very uh, strong earth. Uh, earth star chakra stone so it's definitely gonna get you grounded to mama earth matter of fact this crystal would be good for like uh the star seeds that feel like earth is not home you know uh fire gate is good for that also but uh this melanite this uh black uh i think it's also called black andradite uh garnet but i know uh melanite for sure but uh also, it has like a, 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 a male-like energy to it. Uh, so it's gonna ground you, it's gonna give you that vitality, but it also gives you that fiery manifestation, like a male to male energy is due, it's proactive, it's electric, you know, it's fiery, you know? And that, that that's the kind of energy, you know, the Garnet gives you. Matter of fact, uh, then with me, with uh, my YouTube channel, Jewelry, you know, just doing whatever, getting tasks done, you know. You want something that's gonna give you some vitality, that's gonna give you that vibration of, you know, of uh, optimism, vitality that make you get up and go do what you want, you know, what you uh, need to get done. And then the, uh, the bloodstone also is great for, uh, for grounding energy. But back to the uh, melanite, it also has a magical, kind of like a, matter of fact, it will pair good with new might. Cause it has like that old earth deep grounding magical energy you know because dealing with the elementals you know that's how you manifest things is dealing with your your grounding energy you know yeah you could have your pineal gland open and all the high chakras open all you want but in order to manifest things into the physical you know you need it you need your root and your sacral you know the sacral is the creativity you know the root is the, the physical, you know, creativity, physical, bringing that together, creating something or manifesting something. But, you know, for me, it's just a good, great crystal to work, work with, you know, lately, as far as me grounding myself. Because, again, it's, this one right here is deeper than just the root chakra. It, it, it definitely goes into the earth, into the earth star chakra also. Then you got the bloodstone. Bloodstone is good for detoxifying. Bloodstone is good for, and you just pay attention to the combination. Like say, for instance, you don't even have to know about crystals to know. All right, this crystal is green and red. Hmm. So without me knowing anything else about it, I do know that the red is gonna resonate with the root chakra and the green is gonna resonate with my heart chakra. You know, like point blank period. So you don't have to be no, Oh man, like how you get all this knowledge on crystals? Like a lot of people, you know, it's like it just comes from the thirst of the knowledge, you know. Like a lot of a lot of us don't have knowledge in certain situations because we're not really thirsty about it. 
all those little things that you're nonchalant like say for instance where you try to ask a lot of questions like you you want another human being to give you all the answers about you know then you're not really you know caring about it or you know trying to get the information on that level it's about really caring and I tell people the information gonna start falling in your lap once you start really, really wanting the knowledge and you're gonna come across the books and the people and the videos that's gonna give you this knowledge on the situation. But again, red and green, so it's time that root chakra, that courage, you know what I'm saying? That courage and vitality to that heart, that compassion and love. So it's basically giving you that courage to to do what you love, to you know, to to uh, go forth and manifest the things you love. Matter of fact, uh, I think I said that on the uh, the full moon in Aries, where I was like, this would be a good stone for that energy, you know, because you want to be, you know, courageous about what you're trying to accomplish from your heart, you know what I'm saying? So it definitely uh, ties in that energy. Also, a great detoxifying energy. Uh, I spoke of bloodstone, ocean grasp, and shungite. Matter of fact, it would be great combination of shungite and ocean grass as far as detoxifying the body. It also detoxifies the blood, you know, bloodstone, which in, in uh, the old, one of the older names for his heliotrope. Kind of like a helio dealing with sun. You know, kind of like helio, uh, helios, biblios, like you get the Bible, the sun book. It's definitely a good grounding energy, you know, good root chakra energy. Cause you gotta be, you gotta be on this earthly plane. You know what I'm saying? I can't, you know, it, it's very difficult to manifest things if you airy and all in the astral planes all the time. Then you know, it's almost like it's almost like being flighty. It's almost honestly, you could look at being too flighty as almost like committing suicide while still being physically here. You know, it's like yeah, you physically here, but. You on the other side already, you know, you just ain't actually, you know, shot yourself or, you know, actually made your body stop functioning, but, you know, so, and, and, and again, to each his own, some of us may have a purpose where, you know, I would end up being say, hey, I want you to sit down and meditate for the rest of your life, don't move a muscle, like, I want you to spend your physical existence still and manifesting things on the other side. Hey, that may be the case, but I know, you know, most of us are here for, you know, for vital physical reasons for moving and, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and manifesting things and having fun, you know, it's having fun while, you know, while sharing love and growing and, and helping the consciousness of this, uh, of this earthly plane, of this, uh, this dimension of this plane, you know, help it, help it transform, help it evolve but definitely want to share that with y'all so it's two crystals too where i would suggest like if you're looking so say for instance man you, you're looking for uh fiery energy uh that male like energy that get up and go that vital i need to get this done i need to get that done confident you know what i'm saying because also uh as a matter of fact this also uh revitalizes the chi energy the uh, garnet but you know that just that strong vital energy that get up and go you know do manifest not that sexual energy you know get the libido right in essence not fully like none of them specifically but like when you're dealing with root and sacral chakra energy you know it's going to kind of indirectly deal with that also confidence in that area also but definitely some great stones and again that uh garnet ground you all the way through to the earth star chakra so you know it's going to give you that real real ground and energy you know because the fact of the matter is that we're here in the physical so uh, you know if we're here we're probably here for a reason so you want to ground and you know and get used to your body you know and get used to your bodily functions you know you're not against your body you know your body is your little suit like say fences if you went <laughs> quote unquote out of space or to the quote unquote to the moon <laughs> like in your space suit when you get uh say friends out of space or whatever would you be like oh this this suit is really not me so let me damage it or let me not care about it because it's really like it's not me 
like, nah, yeah, you know it's not true. You know, you know, Sifin's the astronaut, know that it is the human being inside the suit. It's like, you know you are the soul inside the human being, but you don't want to just be like, but F my being, you know, like, you know, like to hell with my physical, you know, it's like, nah, you know, it, it helps you to move around and maintain, you know, to maintain consciousness on that, on this physical plane, you know, you gotta have this little physical shell, so these two crystals is definitely good at, you know, grounding, strengthening that root chakra, strengthening that earth star chakra, you know, and also helping with manifestation, so. That's it. Let quick peace happen now. Now is the vibe great. Not going too far in the future. Not going too far in the past.